it, I know it's a visual thing, but if you want to change something, just make the mask green and mournful, and we'll be happy with that. All right, blue and royal storm, black and assassin, green and mournful, please. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> Shout out to NRS. But Shout anyway, out to Warner Brothers. Yeah. Next up, Team Kill, MIT, Burger King. Burger King. And this is the last time we get to call him Burger King. I'm not sure. Is there any other tournaments coming up before the year's out? Not before the year's I don't think up. so. Not so Burger up. King making his last appearance. MIT looking to, f you know, close the gap and hone in on his first major victory. He's been denied by his... Sorry, Katama Prime. Jay Edwards says, yeah, we are not going to do that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Shout out to Jay Edwards, the homie. NRS, Katana, legend fan. Thanks for hurting my heart. You're still my favorite... Uh, employee of NRS, but you know, you, you, you make me cry with that. Oh, no. <laughs> you sound like you're not appreciative. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm happy she's in the game. In the match. <laughs> okay. She Bur could be Jade right yeah. now. Dead. Burger King opening up. Pressure. Yeah, then this is going to be pressure versus pressure. MIT gets the throw, gets itself out of the corner, and back one. What's very similar about both these characters is just all block pressure, all ch a lot of chip damage, and you know not too much in the mix-up department. Both characters rely a lot on throws. That's true. They have a lot of good frames and a few tricky things with their go-to strengths. Tanya with the Rekkas, Kung Lao with the one one two one two, and his EX uh, orbiting hat, which gives him you know plus twelve. And a, a, another thing that both of these characters have, they have a fear. They instill the fear in you of of their armor moves. We all know what EX Spin does to opponents. We you all know, know what super EX Records. Records. Yeah, and yep. the EX Records, man. You, you get scared to press buttons at times. Yeah, these characters are very similar. They have teleports to kind of shut down zoning. Tanya's is a little bit different. So, you know, from Kung Lao's. Kung Lao's immediately puts you right behind your opponent. Mm -hmm. But they, are, they have options. And just not mix-ups. MIT waking up, man. Oh, wow. He teleports right into the interactable. Unfortunately, on the left side, which puts him in the corner to EX Spin. Forever King with the EX Spin. Great decision. Has MIT in the corner. Can he make this comeback? Hat is spinning around. Oh, he man. And MIT is trying to get loose. Plus, I think I'm going to see a throw. And that was the guaranteed stuff. Plus 12 into the 1-1. One, one. MIT was probably looking the armor out. Couldn't. Oh, there's the throw, and MIT jumps out, but Forever King with the amazing conversion from the jump in, from oh, the jump in and, three. Oh, he's not going to learn from this. He's going to press start and go to the player select immediately. Didn't want to see Tanya's neck get beat <laughs> off. Hitman punch, hitman punch, hitman punch. Um, well, um, Jay Edwards, or whoever combat. idea was, thanks for the brutality for Lau. The hitman punches, that is godlike. It is, it is. And every time I see it, I still haven't gotten tired of it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're. I well, you might be the only one. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think care. You it's God like he one. takes off his hand. And he says, "Learn from this, okay?" <laughs> and people still don't learn. So obviously, he he needs to keep doing it. I can't get over how great of a comeback that was. Yeah, Forever oh. King was. It was. He was done. It was over. Oh, and here's our first look at Shaolin Kung Jin. This time, not coming from Slayer, but from MIT, who used it in, uh, in his journey to the top eight yesterday. Gets the full combo punish. 29%. There could be something about this matchup we don't know. Maybe maybe a great way that Kung, Kung Jin deals with Kung Lao. Yeah. He wants Lao to accept him as a true Shaolin guy. We all played the story mode. Ooh, and nice. Watch your feet, big cousin. Yeah, and this is smart stuff. MIT beats the wake up out with the meaty low attack. And he was on point on that one. Doesn't have any meter. But his space control was fantastic in that one. He didn't really give King a chance to, you know, overwhelm him. Yeah, and Forever King on a full stick of butter. Kung Lao can make his meter go a very long way for himself. Yeah, and Alex not to come with the drop down, gets the down one. I, I don't like MIT's decision to put himself in the corner. He's letting Forever King bullying him, and, and he's just wreaking havoc on him right now. Forever King with a very hard read. It does not pay off. MIT going in. Yeah, immediate punish, 28%, media overhead attacks, goes for the save stuff. Backdash to stay away. Oh, and doesn't quite get the, the conversion, but oh, NJP, hold this bull staff to your hat, Mr. Lau. Now, Kung, Kung Jin's neutral jump punch allows him to punish so many things that normal characters just cannot. Yeah. Throws uh, Kung Lao's teleport, all, 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 all the, the options that he has from teleport. And Forever King right now working on another fantastic comeback. Gets the throw into the corner. This man was down. A bunch of life closing it. And I'm expecting a throw. There and it there is. we go again. Is it enough? No, it won't be enough to kill, but here's the pressure. Danger. Meaty. 
and the good jump over, changing Kung Jin's wake up timing just in case MIT wanted to try anything. I like the decision. He's playing very safe. Fantastic um, whiff punish. Doesn't get the full combo. But oh, and the jump into was just far enough. I mean, how much further does it need to be? <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Higher. All right. The overhead kick. A lot of Ooh, Ooh, and red, what a reaction red. to the teleport. I think that was a hard read. You think so? I think he jumped before he teleported. Yeah. He was ready. He said, go ahead. Do it. Well, King with the smart stuff. Running over. I love that. To see, you know, high-level players always do that. Run under and combo that they can to make them switch sides. But King throwing out random. He expands. And he drops a combo. That could have been the entire match, the entire set. What is Malik going to do? Not much. He's going to do the same thing he did last game. Yep. Jump over, dive kick. And that is guaranteed. And this time, Malik will learn from this. Ooh. Oh, where's your God. neck at? Where's your neck at? Where's Yo. your neck at? He turned him into a bobblehead. <laughs> Just real life neck dangling. And that is 2-0. Forever King advancing. MIT done again. Can't quite get that major win just yet. But I'm so impressed by Forever King. Ashamed of nothing. Again, MIT making top eight on his way out. Next up, winner's finals. Sonic Fox versus Slayer. A spot in grand finals on the line. This is three out of five. We finally get a three out of five? Well, we know how Slayer looks. Look, he takes off the watch. Just look at this kid. I'm just going to look at him this time. Look at Slayer. The way he even sinks his controller, the murder face is on. And it, it's hard to call it a murder face because he's so little. Look at him. It's a face. He's so sweet. He's, so he's just like want to hug him and stuff. But 